Before this video starts, I just wanted to say something about a video I just saw. And my video is going to be talking, like, first starting out talking about James Charles and, like, how I felt people were acting of him going to the Met Gala. And um, even though he's had so many scandals and that he's not worthy enough to go, and I do say that I felt that it was unfair for people to be saying that he didn't deserve to go when he is such a huge staple in the beauty community. I do talk about that, but my friends were texting me about the new Tati video that just came out. It's Right now, it's May. 10th. It's 151 now. I just saw the Tati video. I don't feel like Tati would be lying and risk her whole reputation to be lying about anything. So seeing that video and I've been a subscriber to Tati for over two years I believe and just to see what she had to say um, about James Charles is crazy and it's sad. Like take what I say in this video with a grain of salt. I don't support someone that openly comes on to straight men and tries to test them in their boundaries. Um, I feel that if somebody identifies as uh, something that you should leave them and um, just accept who they are and accept the reality of that situation. So I definitely don't support that. I just felt like I needed to say that after learning what happened with James Charles. I don't support what he believes in and what he's done. If it is true, I just want to say I don't believe in that. But yeah, I I just wanted to say that in the video, I was just defending him and to the point where I thought he did deserve it because he is a really big celebrity. I wasn't trying to say it where like, oh, he's so innocent and stuff. He's not innocent. No one's innocent. So um, yeah, I just wanted to say that like, I didn't believe in what just happened and what conspired if it is true or if it's not. I don't believe in this. I didn't want that video to come off as like, oh, we love James Charles kind of sense. I'm very neutral on everything. I'm not going to say that I am completely on Tati's side and I'm completely on James Charles' side because we don't know what the truth is anymore. <laughs> but um, I'm not saying that Tati's a liar though. I was uploading the videos of my mukbang right now to my laptop as you can see right now and then this video surfaced of well not surfaced but like video um tati put up the video so i just felt like i needed to say this before anything else happened so i'm just like okay let me just state that i don't believe in what james charles believes in in that sense and that he's not entirely innocent even though in this video i hope it doesn't seem like i'm making him innocent i'm just saying i don't like bullies that made fun of his outfit that they said that he was undeserving even though after this it seems that he's pretty undeserving of it <laughs> of him going to the night gala after stepping on someone that's helped him tremendously in his career take everything i say with a grain of salt i am not in support of what james charles believes in or he's doing or what he's done so yes so let the video begin hi guys so today i'm doing another mukbang and it's gonna be talking about 2019 met gala so um yeah, let's get started because I'm hungry. So today what I have here, I have my Hello Gorgeous mug. Isn't it so cute, Hello Gorgeous? That's good. I have a strawberry glazed banana waffle. Honestly, I was craving a waffle because I was watching Parks and Rec. Leslie Nope loves eating waffles, so I wanted it. I wanted to eat it. And I have a side of bacon here. That looks like very that looks like a very sad bacon. Mmm. It's like perfectly crispy and it's so fire. And I got some whipped cream and we all know the girl Leslie loves whipped cream. I don't need no butter, but I might eat some of the syrup. We'll see, we'll see. I'll get a nice strawberry. Cut it along the line. Ooh. That looks good. Wait, I'm gonna dunk it in the whipped cream. Eat what? Mm -hmm. Wow. I love being in America. <laughs> when I was in Spain, they don't even eat 
breakfast. There you go, another. Mmm. That waffle, that weefle, whatever. Where's my whipped cream? I think I know why Leslie likes a lot of whipped cream now. Because it's totally fire. Of course, this girl wouldn't charge her phone, because why would she do that? This girl meaning me. I like to talk in third person sometimes. I don't know why. Um, first of all, I want to start, start off with the whole James Charles debacle. So, um, I know there's been a lot of scandals surrounding James Charles. I actually disliked him for a while. I mean, a week, just because of the whole gauge problem and him going after straight men and then I think there's catfishing but it's allegedly that he's been catfishing people but other than that like I think that it's really unfair for people to be dogging on James Charles for going to the Met Gala and I think it's pretty bogus considering the fact that this guy is so huge. If you don't even stand James Charles and you're not a fan of him and you're not subscri like subscribed to him on YouTube, I feel everyone has heard of James Charles. Like, everyone. He was the first guy to be on CoverGirl or Maybelline. I'm so sorry. I don't know. But, like, that's when I first, like, first heard of him. And then the ring light debacle. Like, honestly, I've heard a lot about James Charles. And it wasn't just because of scandals, but because of, like, how famous he is. Like, there's a lot of people that genuinely like watching James Charles. I think that he's really made a name for himself and I think that it's really unfair that people are saying that he shouldn't, he didn't deserve to go to the Met Gala, um, that he's not even famous enough. He has 16 million subscribers on like YouTube. He's pretty freaking famous and also like I said, even my friends, everyone, Whenever you hear about the beauty community, I automatically think Jeffree Star, um, Manny MUA, uh, James Charles. James Charles is a staple in the beauty community, and I feel that he did deserve to go to um, the Met Gala, and he definitely did open some doors for some YouTubers, because I'm sure next Met Gala we're going to see more than James Charles there. And I know Liza Koshy is there. Um, and she was interviewing for Vogue and that's like a huge thing like good for her because she has such a good personality and um, she's very friendly and people can easily communicate with her and I feel that's like Vogue made a really good choice but yeah I think James Charles like it's amazing that he was able to go to the Met Gala and I think people should stop being like oh it's an only exclusive event yeah that's why you're not invited that's why you don't see it just anyone go to the Met Gala. It's very exclusive. And James Charles is not a run-in-the-mill person. He's a big celebrity. A lot of people know his name. Um, and so I feel that people are really bogus to him right now. And um, also, yeah, like I feel like people think he's a low-tier guy. He's not a low-tier guy, guys. He's so famous and everyone's heard of him plus it's a new like social media and youtube and influencers are such a nuanced thing like it's so new that whether people are still navigating what the ranks are and stuff you know i feel that people don't know what what's the next move for influencers like what else are they going to be invited to and i think youtubers i hear about them almost all the time so why is it that people are having such a hard time like oh he's not um an a-list celebrity he seems like an a-list celebrity to me because he's um i mean i mean he's not like acting in movies movies or anything but he's definitely famous like a like a-list um celebrities and do i even dare say a little bit more famous because 
the new generation millennials we all know who james charles is it's just like if you're on youtube or if you're on twitter or instagram on twitter i know like people are, have been talking crap about james charles and it's like if you're on twitter there is no way that you haven't like seen a post about james charles because even though i don't follow any beauty influencers on twitter or anything there have been people that have been tweeting and retweeting things about the whole james charles debacles like everything that's been happening so it's just like you have to have at least seen his name once or twice. He's pretty famous and people don't like the way he was famous. Well, a lot of people didn't like the way that Kim Kardashian became famous either and she was going through scandals. People make names for themselves and maybe not in the best way, but at the end of the day, James Charles does have a great personality. So did Kim Kardashian and people kept watching them because they're very familial, like especially with Kim Kardashian, like her and her family, you get into their family affairs and you get to see how it is um, with them and you feel like a familial spirit I don't know and with James Charles he's just a very nice guy and welcoming guy and he like is very preppy and like wants to talk and stuff and that's how a lot of my friends are too but that was a lot to say Sorry. I just don't like bullies. I think I hate bullies. I think I hate, highly dislike bullies. People are like, oh, James Charles isn't even a big name. First of all, those are all reporters and like people that paparazzi that were taking pictures, and I feel that they were very misinformed, like not misinformed. It's their job to know who is a big name and you can just tell that these reporters and paparazzis I feel like aren't with the times like they're not involved on social media or anything because other than that they would have known how big of a platform YouTube has and it seemed like it was all paparazzi and reporters there and it's just like do you not know like don't you want to grab the younger generation's attention too like I don't know it was just I'm like how do these reporters and paparazzi not know who James Charles is I don't know. They The only one that recognized him was Liza. And that's because she was a YouTuber or she is a YouTuber. Seems kind of unprofessional to me. Like, you should have known who that was walking down the... But then again, they might not be in tune with what goes on on social media and who's on social media. And it does depend on who you're uh, exposed to on social media and who you follow. I don't know. These people don't seem like they're with the times. And I don't like how people are making fun of his outfit. Even though, I must say, he does look like he's going to Coachella. <sighs> Celebrities don't dress themselves. Like Manny Amelie said, the designers dress the people going to the Met Gala. So Alexander Wayne dressed him like that. He also dressed Haley Baldwin and she looked so cute and like I wanted to pinch her cheeks. Alexander knew who was going to the Met Gala and how people were dressing. Like why did he dress? I just want to know the thought process like as to why he dressed James Charles the way he did. I don't know. I just want to know Alexander. I'm not trying to say that you're unprofessional or anything else but I just want to know like I don't know. I'm not trying to diss Alexander Wayne, but it kind of seems unfair. I mean, not unfair, but it kind of seems weird that, like, you dress James Charles, a major influencer, and you dress him like that to the Met Gala. Like, I just wonder why it was, why he chose that. Or maybe James Charles decided to wear that. Uh. Mm. And especially the bandana was a cherry on top, like, 
now he actually looks like he's going to Coachella. Like, why? They're so good. I should move on. What? Liza Koshy's outfit was beautiful. It was gorgeous and um out of the box. And I loved her hair. The way the it was wrapped into that little like I don't know what that was, but that metal, it looked gorgeous to me. She seemed more natural and calm and collected at the uh, Met Gala this time when she was interviewing people. The celebrities, they like recognize her and they're like, hey, and they came up to her. When they left, she would like fangirl, but like she wouldn't be like, oh my god, or whatever. She'd just be like, oh my god, they definitely just talked to me right now, blah, blah, blah. Like, I loved it. I think it was so sweet the way people were acting around, like the celebrities were acting towards her and the way that she was like talking to them. It was all natural and organic. I loved it. Um, I think last year she was a little bit nervous. Um, you have this built up adrenaline and the pressures that you have to be professional, but you're also meeting all these celebrities and it's just like you have to interview them and um, be natural and stuff. and. I guess she was, I think she was really nervous and excited last year and I think this year she was just more calm and she re she, she sees the celebrities and they know her name and she's just like, hey, like, I thought it was so nice, so I loved it. I think she did a great job at this Met Gala and I can't wait to see her next year, hopefully, please, Vogue. Oh, and Maluma was there. Maluma, the king, was there at the Met Gala. I was so proud. And again, what are with this? What are with these paparazzi and reporters not knowing who the people are walking down the what Met Gala? Like Maluma, sorry, there was dust here. Maluma is a huge staple in the Latino community, especially in Latino music. He's been like topping the charts on Billboard, I believe. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But like. He is such a big name. How do you not recognize him? Like, honestly, it seems a little bit unprofessional to me. It seems kind of weird to me, guys. Like, why aren't these reporters recognizing these big name stars? Maluma looks so handsome. I love what he wore. And hold on, I have a picture because I had to save it because I was so proud as a Latina to see him. I'll throw up the picture right here. You see that I love his suit. Oh my god, he looks so hot. And he dyed his hair blonde. I love that he kept his um, beard like dark brown or black, I don't know. Oh, he's so hot. I'm sorry, James. Even though like you're a big staple in the beauty community, Maluma Baby is so big. Like he's not only big in the US, but he's also big in like Latin America. Like, I He's huge! How do people not know about him? Especially those reporters and paparazzis. Like, that is so unprofessional to me. Uh, I don't get it. It's in the Latino music side. Mm. He's still big in music, and he's like... He was like working with big names. He worked with Madonna, damn it. Like what the, like what else do you need? How have you not heard about this guy, Maluma? I loved his outfit, so unique. Um, there's a lot of people that didn't really show, show up and show out like Kanye, but we all know why he did that. Because he loves his wife Kim and he wants her to um, stunt on these hoes. Anyways, that's not the point. I mean, it is the point. I don't know. Speaking of men, Sean Mendes looked very handsome and I really liked his um, Vogue video when he was playing guitar in the, um, when he was playing guitar in, while on, on his way to 